Something that's really helped me to get better at correctly exposing my footage is false color. I used to work in live events and knowing in real time if my footage was over or underexposed was a game changer. And now I apply the same tool to shooting video for my own content. So what is false color? False color is basically a way of visualizing your exposure levels in your image so that you don't just have to rely on your eye to know if you're over or underexposed. When you expose by eye, you're kind of opening yourself up to all sorts of human errors like your screen might be too dim or it might be too bright. You might be in a bright room that's sort of overcompensating on your monitor. Or maybe you're just wearing sunglasses and the screen doesn't look quite as bright as usual. But when you use false color, you can clearly see according to a standardized chart, how bright or dark your overall image is. You can kind of think of false color as like an overlay that goes over your footage and then it converts the brightness values of different parts of your image into different colors. So how do you read false color? In order to actually be able to see false color, you first need a camera or a monitor that can display false color. Often kind of lower end consumer cameras like my Sony a6600 aren't able to natively display false color. So I have my camera plugged into a field world external video monitor and this is where I'm able to view the false color. Then when you turn on false color, you'll see a whole bunch of seemingly really random colors. But on the side of your screen, you'll see a chart. And this chart tells you the color that corresponds to the brightness value according to the IRE levels. Now I won't go into all the details of what IRE is, but basically all the way up the top of the chart, you can see there's red and this represents pure white. And then way down at the bottom of the chart, you can see there's purple and this represents pure black. So the red at the top is 100 IRE and then the purple at the bottom is zero IRE. So how do you actually use this to expose your footage properly? Generally, we wanna try and keep our image out of those red and purple zones as much as we possibly can, because that means that we're either over or underexposed to the point where we can't get the information back. It's just completely blown out and it's pure white or pure black. There's no information there. Now, as you can see with my camera, I have some purple and some red in my image. And that's because the dynamic range of my camera isn't amazing because it's a cheaper camera. So I kind of have to compromise. Sometimes it's okay to have overexposed parts of your image and underexposed parts. But the part that you always want to make sure you nail is the skin tone because everybody knows what correct skin tone looks like. However, not everyone knows what the environment you're shooting in looks like. For example, you don't really know what my office looks like. You just know what it looks like through my camera. Whereas I know exactly what it looks like. So I can get away with having it over or underexposed a bit because you as the viewer don't exactly know what it looks like. Whereas you do have a good idea of what my skin tone should look like based on your interaction with other people. <laughs> now correctly exposed skin tone generally sits on the 40 to 70 range in the IRE values. Now this will vary a bit depending on how dark or light the skin is and how much light there is on the actual skin itself. For example, there's obviously a lot more light on this side of my face because I've got a big softbox here whereas on this side of my face there's less light because of the shadow that the light's creating now because i want my skin to be in that 40 to 70 range i'm looking on the false color for my skin to be looking in that green middle gray and pink range as you can see on this side of my face, it's in that range, which means it's well exposed and we're all happy. Now, obviously this side of my face is a bit dark, but that's okay. I'm wanting to create some shadow on this side of my face to make the image look a bit more dynamic. But one of the big key things is that the side of my face where the light is hitting it is not overexposed. You can see there's no yellow and there's definitely no red. As soon as you start to see yellow and red in your skin tones, you know for sure it's well overexposed and it will look unnatural. And then on the other end, if too much of my face is getting blue and definitely if it's getting purple, then I know it's underexposed and I need to brighten my shot up. So as you can see, it's actually really simple to use false color to check if you're correctly exposed while you're shooting. Sometimes you'll still overexpose or underexpose because if you're out shooting, you might not be paying full attention. You're just trying to get the shot. In which case you can actually still use false color in post-production while you're editing to bring your image back to a correct brightness or exposure level. Now really the best way to use false color in post is with a false color plugin. Now I'm currently using a Dehancer plugin which includes a false color overlay, which is really helpful because again, if my footage is a little bit underexposed or a little bit overexposed and I can double check it with the false color in my editing software in right in Final Cut Pro. And then I know for sure where my brightness levels 
are. And again, this is especially handy if you're working on a monitor that maybe isn't calibrated correctly, or if you're using a screen that's a bit dim or a bit too bright, and you're not quite sure how it's gonna look on other screens. This is a great way of checking for sure based on IRE values, which is a standardized measurement of brightness, that your image is overall looking good. If you're interested in more color grading videos, check out my DaVinci color grading process video here. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.